Red Dead Online has a lot of problems, but at the core for a lot of people, it comes down to the currency. The game has several currencies and not one of them is properly implemented. Before we do get into the video though, I want to let you know about a project that I've been working on. It's no secret that I've created a lot of gaming channels and because I've created so many, I know how to get them partnered in about one to two months without needing to promote them on other social media accounts. And I always get asked, how do I do it? That's why I've created an in-depth class on Skillshare. It goes through the basics of creating a new YouTube channel, but it quickly scales up into doing keyword research, planning videos, recording, editing, creating thumbnails, and eventually getting monetized, where you can actually start running your YouTube channel like a business by outsourcing the work. If you're interested in having your own gaming channel, then there is a link in the description down below, as well as you can find it as the pinned comment, and that will give you a free month of Skillshare where you can use Use that time to watch through my class and at the end of it you will understand everything that you need to know so links to everything can be found in the description down below and getting back into the video red dead online has a currency problem you hear it all the time from hardcore players but for a new player you may not understand why it is so problematic. So firstly, we have way too many currencies. As things currently stand, we have money. This is your cash. You have gold. This is the currency which Rockstar uses to monetize the game. We then have Capitali, which was introduced with the blood money update. Unlock tokens, which is there for every single roll. XP, and we also have animal parts and different types of collectibles, which you can hold within your satchel. These all can count as currencies. The only difference is what you're able to use them for now with all of these currencies you would hope that rockstar were able to get one of them implemented correctly but unfortunately none of them are at the beginning it's a grind for you to get every single one of them and that kind of fits within rockstar's business model so that you're enticed to go into the store and buy gold which will help you out in all of these different areas but because of the rocky start that red dead online had right at the beginning where it did nearly take one full year to get any type of content or any content that you had to buy into most players especially those that have been around for a long time are way ahead they had loads of cash loads of gold and once it did finally come around to new content being released they had enough money to buy in with still a lot left over and because on average there is only one update every six months with this slowly extending due to not having a new update near enough a year and it's now become insanely easy for loads of players to just buy into new updates the second they're released without having to put any money into the game and they really don't even need to put too much work in just to show how easy it is for you to be on top of pretty much everything if we just look at the daily challenges your daily challenges will reward you with gold how much gold will depend on your streak but let's just say you're doing one daily challenge a day for 28 days in a row. That's where you hit the maximum point and then you get reset all the way back down to zero where you have to build up this streak again. That's 5.9 gold bars within a 28 day period. Fair to say that this is not a lot. When we look at cost of updates, it really is way more than enough. Outlaw passes or quick draw clubs can cost anywhere between 20 to 50 gold bars each. And normally once you complete those passes, you will be rewarded with all of that gold that you initially put in back as different types of rank unlocks. Plus on top of that, you'll get an extra gold bar, which is gifted as part of a treasure map. So technically it's free and can even be profitable. With the base content that we get as part of these updates, they're also really not too expensive. The Frontier Pursuits update had 15 gold bars for each role, being a bounty hunter, collector, and trader. This was the most expensive update that we had to buy into for the base content, given 45 in total. Everything after this point, such as the Moonshiner, Natchez, Prestigious Bounty Hunter, they all cost 25 gold bars each, and with the Blood Money update, it was free to enter. For most of these updates, you could just do one daily challenge a day, and you will be able to buy into the base content, the main stuff within all of these updates except for the Frontier Pursuits update, which was slightly more expensive. But you also need to remember 
this was back before the daily challenge nerf where you was able to get a lot more gold and if you was to work out the maths you'll understand that you would easily be able to buy into the bounty hunter collector and trader just by doing one daily challenge every single day and the problem isn't that rockstar should be making things more expensive for people to buy in no the prices for these updates is perfectly fine it needs to be good enough for them to monetize the game but also small enough for those that have just started the game to be able to buy into it the second that you make this gold amount way too high it becomes way too much of a grind and players will stop playing but when the update is a flat fee right up front and there's nothing really to aim for when going through these roles that is where there is a problem there needs to be more content for players to aim towards if not you'll get a situation where players will just hold their gold and not spend it and they just look to see how much gold that they can try to get Whenever a new update does come out, it really doesn't matter because players are easily able to buy into it. And it also creates this mindset that the whole goal for Red Dead Online is to make as much money as possible. So then players decide whether or not an update is good based on how much it pays rather than the content being fun to play through. And this is just the problems with the main gold currency that Rockstar uses to monetize Red Dead Online. Once we look at money, XP, capitality, and even unlock tokens, they all have problems. Money is very similar to gold, except it can only be earned within game. It's used to buy various items, but you really don't need too much. You will need to have a good horse with a good saddle, good weapons, roll items, pamphlets, camp and shack upgrades, ability cards, plus the upgrades. And then the choice comes down to whether or not you want customization and other cosmetics. Really, you don't need too much money in game for you to be in a very good position. With XP, it only becomes useful at certain points of the year. If you're a new player, you need as much of it as possible. You want to rank up to get to rank 100. You want to be able to go through the roles and get them to their max rank being rank 20 or rank 30 for the prestigious bounty hunter. And if there is any passes being quick draw clubs or outlaw passes currently available, you will also need XP to progress through them. But once this is done, there's nothing else to push for. It's actually the most pointless reward that you can be given at this stage of Red Dead where there is no updates, there's no reason for you to rank up your character and you can't rank up any of your roles because you've already hit the maximum rank. It's not until there is a new update, either given a role or given a pass, which hardcore players or those above those ranks will actually need XP. But considering we haven't had one in about a year, it's just another pointless number system within game. Capitale is the newest addition added to Red Dead Online and its only real purpose is for you to enter into opportunities. For those that don't know, the Blood Money update was added to boost audience retention at the beginning of the game just after you complete the main missions but before you enter into your first role. This part right here was the worst part of the game and where most players gave up. The blood money content was there to bridge the gap so you would complete your main missions and you would have around 8 to 10 gold bars in total. Then you'll go into the blood money update which is entirely free to enter and you could build up your gold by going through the blood money crimes. They also wanted to add in opportunities, but because they are trying to get new players to boost that audience retention so that they can build up their gold and money to enter into their first role, they can't put a price tag on these opportunities to enter, otherwise new players will go back down to where they were before and still will not have enough to buy into their first lot of roles. So that's why they also brought in Capitale, which is a completely separate currency that you can earn as part of the blood money content so that you don't need to worry about losing any cash, losing any gold. But it did also add another currency to the game, which is only needed for one thing. And this is for your opportunities, opportunities which no one really plays anymore. And then we also have unlock tokens. Unlock tokens which are there for you to unlock different items when going through the rolls. But it really doesn't matter because all items are locked behind ranks anyway. And even after you do use an unlock token to unlock that item, you still need to use gold or cash to unlock that item. I'm yet to see one player who starts Red Dead, goes through the rolls without looking at any tutorials and runs out of unlock tokens and they're not sure what to buy into. To solve all of these currency problems, it really does come down to there being more content. 
and that doesn't mean for rockstar to bump up the price of updates from 15 to 25 gold bars all the way up to 100 that really doesn't change anything it just brings a much higher barrier to entry but if there was more content for the stuff that's already within the game which was expanded upon very much in a similar way to what they promised right at the beginning then a lot of these currencies would be needed it wouldn't be the case of everyone hoarding gold trying to value an update based on whether or not it pays out well because there will be things and items that players are trying to push for and they're grinding as much as possible and once they get there they're actually happy with their accomplishments and this really doesn't need to be a whole new update if you just added rooms to your moonshine shack or added other types of items that you can buy into to change and improve your camp even take it as far as just allowing players to buy into different types of wagons which aren't directly connected to roles if you really want to make it extremely basic you really could just take some of the horses that we already have within game and allow us to buy other versions of those horses with different types of coats some of them let's just say have war paint on them or even have battle scars pretty much anything and this really doesn't change too much the animation doesn't change it's just the texture on top of those current horses these are all expansions to the previous roles which were said to continuously get updates and evolve as time goes on and only one has been the prestigious bounty hunter and that was god awful by going back to some of these previous roles you could add an extra few ranks which will allow xp to become more useful again especially for players that haven't used it and with capitali it might as well be removed because it's not really needed but worst case scenario because all the work is done we really could just go and use it as the criminal underworld currency the currency which you can still use to buy items but now it's got a bit more of a dishonorable twist to it you're only allowed to buy from the shadiest of people within the world of red dead online instead of it being just for one thing and one thing only which is to enter opportunities and in more opportunities within the future which i assume rockstar were thinking about that's just not going to work it it still becomes a pointless currency it's just temporarily needed whilst players complete the new opportunity but once players are bored which takes about a week it's never going to be used again but anyway guys this is what really comes down to a major problem within red dead online i know it is just the currency but it leads to so much more if you do have any questions then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below but anyway guys hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to so see ya